Dr. Fauci is a complete moron, and there are a lot of lessons for us to learn from morons like Dr. Fauci, and I want to talk about that today. And if you're wondering why am I calling Dr. Fauci a moron, well, because he is a moron. He's a fool. He's a moron. He's all of those things wrapped up in one, but he was one of the reasons why the Dow lost 800 points yesterday. And you'd be like, oh, you're such an elitist, Matt. Oh, you're just thinking about the rich 1% in the stock market. Well, that 800 points represents a lot of value in companies. It represents a lot of investing by individuals, by unions, by 401ks, by tons and tons of us who have our money wrapped up into it. Luckily for the week, I've been doing so well that I'm still positive for the week. We'll see how it goes. Um, but Dr. Fauci, you're a moron. We're going to talk about that today. Welcome to How to Build a Tent. My name is Matt Williams. Thank you for listening to the show, sharing it with a friend, tagging it. If you just want to share the show right now, I'd really appreciate it. We go over to the Fight Laugh Feast Network, become an FLF, FLF member, and you will get that sweet mug. You'll get tons of other great benefits. This mug is still great. You know, it's like it fits your full four fingers for those of you watching on YouTube. I mean, that is crucial for me, which reminds me of another point of clarity. Yesterday, some of you gun nuts out there uh, were making fun of me because you thought when I said my 226 that you were ref that I was referring to the caliber of my weapon. I am not referring to that. I am referring to my SIG P226. This gun also fits perfectly in my hand as well. I absolutely love this thing. This is like the Cadillac of pistols, in my opinion. I have extreme confidence with it and carry it wherever I am allowed to buy the crown. If it pleases the crown that I have my rights to protect myself. I just need to... I've been talking with my friends about this. I'm in... The next things I need to do with this thing is I need to get the red dot and I'm thinking a flashlight. I don't know if I want to put the flashlight on though um, because I do carry and that might seem a little bulky. I mean, it's already a full size pistol. Usually you do compact pistols when you do a carry, but I just, if I'm going to ever have to use it, I want to have the most confidence in any weapon that I, I mean, I want to have the weapon that I have the most confidence in, and that's my P226. So even if it's a little bulky, it makes me have to wear certain things uh, or not wear certain things because it, you know, can print. I'm, I'm still going to do it, and I, I just absolutely love it. Love it, and I am not endorsing, or the show is not endorsing, uh, is not endorsed by P226 or the six hour, I should say. Um, but anyways, all right. So let's get into it today. Dr. Fauci, one of the reasons why the econ or the Dow and the S&P 500 with all the medical stocks and tech stocks and things like that crashed is because the great wise, dripping with sarcasm, Dr. Fauci had quotes like this. We can have some confidence and some faith in what the FDA is saying. We can have some confidence and some faith in what the FDA is saying. Now, there's a lot of things I want to say about this. For one, we're spe he's specifically talking about the vaccines and the approvals for the FDA, and the FDA giving approval for them, which for the vaccine, I'm definitely not taking it. I don't think that we should be taking vaccines that are rushed through. I, I'm not an anti-vaxxer. I'm very skeptical about live vaccines. I'm super skeptical about vaccines that are being rushed. I don't take the the flu shot because there's like a two or three out of 17 chance that it's even right. And uh, just no, thank you. So that's what he's talking about. But besides that, like, if the, the market is looking for a vaccine before Christmas shopping, before the election and all of these things, if the market is pricing this in and the world is looking to it, some people may want to take this vaccine and hey, more power to you. If a private company wants to make a vaccine for the coronavirus, and if individuals want to take that vaccine for themselves, more power to them. I'm totally cool with it. I don't think that the government should get in the way of it. That's fine. But to say things like you have some confidence and some faith in the FDA saying and that you don't think that the vaccine is going to be ready by certain such and such date. How do you even know that, first of all? Because there are multiple vaccines out there. There's multiple companies working on this. Are you, Dr. Fauci, 
heavily involved in each of these developments and the testing and seeing all this stuff? I don't think you are. I could be wrong. You may be, but I don't think you're in that position. And this really gives us a, a word of caution and some something for us to chew when we're looking for advisors. Because the reason we care at all about what this HIV expert has to say about the coronavirus, which are two different viruses, believe it or not, is because he was on the team that Trump picked. He was on the team of the the council that was doing the briefings and things like that. It was him. It was, uh, oh, I forgot what, Burke, Dr. Burke and the Surgeon General. And they were giving these updates and they were seen and they're elevated to this expert level, which obviously they're doctors. They, they know stuff about viruses. I even believe he was in some kind of position with infectious viruses or something like that. I'm not a medical guy. But... It just reminds us that this is what this is what I want you to take from this. And I'm trying to form my sentences carefully because this is upsetting as well. And I'm not, I don't want to have two angry shows back to back. This is not good. Is that who you pick to elevate to the status of counselor and the people that you trust, that you let into your circle, advise you on things is really important, not just for what they are going to directly advise you to. But then the platform that you give them to do future good or future damage, like in this case. Now, if you, which Dr. Fauci knows is the center, is the limelight, is looked to for their his opinions and for his facts, definitely because he's a Hillary Clinton lover. The emails came out that he loves Hillary Clinton so much, so the media loves him. He is looked at as one of the medical leaders of our whole country. And he's looked at was one of the experts. And we look up to him, we as a country, not me specifically, to give us his opinion. That is what we are banking on to be wise, to be accurate, to be truthful, and to not be political. And so you should know this. If you are in this kind of position, you should have the wisdom to say things or not say things like you have some confidence and some faith in the FDA. You're undermining the institutions of America that are put in place to keep people safe. And when you say things like this, you set a sell-off in the market. You set concern. You set fear into people's minds, into people's hearts. And you are facilitating this hysteria and this mis... I don't even know how to say it. You're giving these people a false hope on data that you're not even sure about because you're loose with your words. Wise people don't talk like this. Wise people don't speak out of turn. Wise people err on the side of not saying things, of being slow to speak, instead of just saying whatever you can do so you could be in the headlines again, saying whatever you could do so you could be in camera again, saying so that you could be on the spotlight, doing and acting in ways that are inappropriate as a leader of a country to do. And this is partially to blame Donald Trump. He does not have a history of always picking the right people. He doesn't always have a history of picking the people that are wise and they're going to be faithful and good stewards of what they've been given and the responsibilities they've been given. He's been through so many staff changes, so many administration changes. And it's because he doesn't pick wise people. When is he going to learn? Because now he has people like Fauci out there running amok saying things he shouldn't say, saying things he has no business saying in a leadership position, in a position where we need wise people, where we need people that are full of knowledge and understanding the position, humble people that aren't going to just act like he acts and say the things that he says. But we have the opposite. We have the opposite. We need to be wise. We need to... We need to apply this to our lives and make sure that we are appointing people or asking people for advice that are wise, that aren't foolish people like this. It's one of the most detrimental things that can happen to us is when we um, let in to our confidence or bring into our inner circles people that are fools, people that don't have the best interest of others in mind, that are selfish, that are prideful, that are looking to elevate themselves, looking to be in the limelight, looking to say things and make themselves feel good and damn be the consequences to the nation. 
this should be a warning for us. Make sure that we are not bringing morons, bringing fools into our inner circles. It will destroy us. It will hurt us. It will hinder us. It will be like a never healing wound that we are constantly having to treat, put resources into, distract us from our goals. We can't have people like this in positions in our personal lives, in our families, in our churches, in our businesses, in our country. It hurts us. It damages us. We need to be wise and not have morons in our inner circle. We'll talk to you next week. Have a good weekend. God bless.